Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting because I now have a Addy Express knitting machine that I got for Christmas from my fiance and I have been obsessed with making things on it. And what I want to show you today is how to make a beanie on the Addy Express knitting machine in four different ways. I've only used DK weight acrylic yarn and the materials that you will need are a circular knitting machine, a tapestry needle with a bent tip, and a pair of scissors. The first pattern that I will be showing you is the reversible beanie which is made up of 60 rows in one color and 60 rows in another color. So in order to make these beanies I will be using the circular knitting setting on my knitting machine and I will begin by casting on. So in order to cast on, start by cranking your machine until you get to the first black needle. Before casting on, ensure that you leave quite a long tail, I like to leave about 20 inches. And begin by wrapping your yarn in front of the first black needle and behind the next black needle. Then in front of the next needle and behind the next needle and keep repeating that in the round until you get to the last white needle and I will show you what to do next. Now I'm on my last white needle and one thing you want to ensure is that the yarn is behind your last white needle because you will need to get picked up in front of the first black needle. But once you reach this point you can take your yarn insert it in the tension holder and then slowly start cranking and make sure that each pin is pulling on the yarn otherwise you will get dropped stitches. I also like to go quite slowly on the first six to seven rounds just to make sure I don't have any dropped stitches but once I get past that I speed up quite a bit. Go ahead and continue cranking until you reach row 60 and when your counter reaches row 60 Complete the 60th row as well until you reach the last white pin and then we will change color. So here I am completing my 60th row and I will now be switching to this green color. So what I will do is take the current color out of the tension holder and just drop this yarn into the middle, leaving about 6 to 7 inches of a tail. Then you want to add your new color into the tension holder and again leave the tail in the center and what I like to do is knot them together but not too tightly just to make sure that I don't have dropped stitches as I go. Once that's done you just want to crank really slowly for the first few rows just to make sure that you don't drop your new yarn. But after that it will be smooth sailing like before and we will continue to crank the machine until we reach row 120.
So now that I reached row 120 and I completed that row and I'm on my last white pin, we will be casting off. So in order to cast off, you want to remove your yarn from the tension holder, cut off quite a long tail and thread it for your bent point tapestry needle. Then crank your machine for one full round. And we will start to pick off stitches like so by inserting the bent tip tapestry needle underneath the stitches and picking them up onto the long tail that we left. Now just keep doing this all the way around, ensuring that you don't drop any stitches, otherwise your work will unravel. And I will show you how to finish the beanie after. As you're going along, it will also become easier to pick up multiple stitches at the same time if you want to do so. Now that our beanie is off the machine, it will look sort of like this, a long tube. And the first thing that I want to do is weave in my tails. I am working on the wrong side of the beanie, so this one with the low waves. And what I'm doing is inserting my needle under three different stitches upwards, then pulling through. Then I insert it through a few stitches downwards the other direction and pull through. I just like to repeat this a few times, maybe four or five times. And that's what I did for all my remaining tails. I would then move on to one of the ends of the beanies and using the long tail that we left, you want to pull on it so that we cinch up the beanie so as to create the top of our beanie. As I'm going along, I'm also tucking in these little bits that are at the top to give it a nicer appearance. Then using a normal tapestry needle, I'm going to attach it and thread it through these stitches at the top of where we cinched the beanie, just to make it more secure. Once you've done that, tighten up your beanie. Now I'll be securing the top of my beanie even more by inserting my needle through the sides on the top of the beanie. Once that's done, you want to pull the beanie on itself on the inside so that we can start doing the same thing to the other side of the top of the beanie.
So once you've inserted it through, make sure that it's aligned and stretched out and start cinching the other end of the beanie. Once I've done that, I like to tie a double knot on the top just to secure it. And then using my tapestry needle, I thread it through both tails. And I'm going to go in and out at the top of the beanie just to make sure that everything is threaded and secure. Then I'm just going to tie a few more knots just to make sure that it won't come undone and then I will cut off the rest of the tail. That's it, that's the first beanie done. So as you can see, it can be worn like this in full green or with a different color rim. Or if we turn it inside out, it's this orangey brown color that we can have a different brim color with as well. So let's move on to the next beanie. This one is the striped beanie and I made it in two different colors alternating 20 rows of each color and I made 120 rows in total as well. So just like before you want to leave a long tail and start by casting on with your first color and then slowly cranking up a few rows before speeding up and making your first 20 rows with your first color. After the first 20 rows are complete, you want to drop the tail of your current color into the center of the machine and attach your new color just like we did before and continue cranking 20 rows. Then you're just going to be repeating this for the rest of the pattern. So 20 rows in one color, 20 rows in the other color until we have to cast off. 
I used exactly the same method for casting off as I did with the first beanie, so I won't be showing it again. The next beanie that I will be showing you today is the brim highlight beanie and this one consists of making 50 rows in one color then 40 rows in a second color which will make up the different color brim and then you will continue to make another 50 rows in the first color which will constitute the rest of the body of the beanie. This one is not very different from the other beanies that I've shown you already in terms of the process that you go through in order to make them so just like before cast on complete the first 50 rows in the color of your choice I went with this really nice bright green and then for my brim I used a white color to do the 40 rows and then once I finished that I reattached my original green color to finish the rest of the hat And last but not least is the scrap yarn beanie for which I've used various different colors that I had left over. So here I've written the exact same pattern that I used to make mine but of course you can combine any different colors, any different row combinations to make a scrap yarn beanie. As long as the yarn type that you are using is compatible with your machine. For this one I experimented with making a slightly smaller size beanie so this one was only 100 rows in total. But again, you can play around with the colors and the size of the beanie that you want to have in the end. While making beanies, I played around with a few different sizes and I found that 120 rows is the most comfortable for my head size. While 100 rows is still nice, but a little bit shorter. And the first beanie that I made was actually 160 rows long, which was way too oversized for me. And it actually stretched out quite a lot, so I can't really use it.
I hope you enjoyed this video. I am very excited to be using my knitting machine. I have made a few different things since filming this video that I am hoping to bring to this channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it or subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time.